Hello, Internet. And today, all right, if I, first of all, if I sound weird, I'm still, I, I mean, I'm not recording from um, COVID, but I am still coughing a lot and I hate it. So I might sound a bit weird. But anyways, today we're going to take a look at another unit that's sort of buff. Rylet. Now I know, Rylet isn't actually buff, but he's pretty much buffed. Now what I mean by that is his artifact pretty much got buffed. This is, this is a Rylet's artifact, which is not his, but it's made for him. 20% more evasion. So basically, Moonlight Dream Blade and all that, you know, most of evasion artifacts gives you 20%. But this one, after getting buffed, it turned from something that has a chance to silence you to 24% at, at plus 18 to counterattack if I evade. Perfect for Violet, because you need to do the S1 and get the focus as well. And when you get 5, you proc the S3 and it's cracked. My Violet has stats like these, which isn't really good enough, I don't think. I want at least 1k defense for this to even be considered. That's what I've got, so yeah. Not 100 crit rate, but I don't blame him on that imprint. He should be one of the funnest units to use, and pretty much a really good unit now in like RTA and, and, and stuff, but we're going to try this out against Vast Ocean. We're going round one. Now, the enemy team isn't anything really too meta, and in fact, it's pretty weird. Well, yeah, there's two light units, so it's where Ryler should have a lot of chance to evade, and that's where, that's where I'm trying to like make him shine and stuff, you know what I mean? We'll try out how toxic it is to have a Bellion at least, keep to have, you know, a lot of AoE going on, so that's like every time I evade, I have like about 25% chance to counter on, on my like plus 18 artifact. This should be disgusting, right? He evades he gains a focus and counters to get another focus, so he should rack up really quickly. And yeah, we'll try that out and hopefully I counter. Round two, we are doing the same shit. You know what? Uh, someone, if you're watching this, someone, if you're creative, I'm gonna be like a name for this team or something. I don't know what I call this team. I just want to like have some sort of thing to say next time when I use like a team like this. Maybe I'll call it the two bartenders and a red wine girl. I don't know, man. The fact is I've used this team way too many times and it's just the easiest way out. You know, I mean, I could power it, but you know, with, with Rimuru and such stuff, I can't. So yeah, there's really not much other choice that I can cleave it with. But anyways, we're gonna go see that is here. All right, and I should be closing in to be to the test. How much does a violet with um a vigor and a type of due to Ruel? Now, I mean, this would be, this is the normal stuff, right? Um, Rylan without, with or without whatever artifact does a shit ton of damage. So we're going to try another Ruel here. And I think that's a one shot right there. I, I'm not sure, actually. It might not, it might not be. But we'll try to regardless. And it is a one shot. So there we go with the counter attack. It's annoying. Not much I can do against that. But here we go. It misses. And I should have a chance to counter, which I'm not seeing right now. So we're not really countering. It's annoying. But, well, we'll, we'll still have rather do rather things and i actually feel like he might die from literally hitting gilha wait wait i need you to do damage but not that much okay <laughs> oh shit gilha's gonna kill amelia wait i might lose this aren't i let's hope i don't though this shouldn't counter me great now this would go with okay 18k damage i'm gonna receive 18k damage i'm actually I, I lost i lost amelia Oh, never mind. What? I don't know what happened there, but I'm gonna take it. Anyways, I'm just gonna push up Ryler right here, and you should miss me on this, right? So, we could see this. If this misses, we could counter and then do an S3. Hopefully, we do- Oh, of course, Rylet. Of course. Oh, that's just fun. It's over, guys. I don't think we're gonna ever see Rylet do the counter today. And this will hit- Okay, there we go. Double edge, whatever. Counter- Yo! Yo, yo, yo. That's nice. This will go into whatever, and this will proc again, and we're gonna- t we're gonna double hit into Yulha. The counter made Yulha get the barrier, and then we proc right in S3, which does way, way too much damage to me. Oh, shit. Well, again, Bella missed there, but uh, I didn't really proc the counter, but yeah. You know, you, you get how it feels like. It's like a counter unit that doesn't really counter. It's annoying, but hey, it's, it's a lot more RNG now, so when it happens, it happens. Holy sacra. Oh, shit. Do not hit me. You know, the fact is, the moment they hit me, the moment they hit me, I lose. All right. I'm going to just hit Belly in here and we get a um, decrease hit chance, which is nice. This will hit Rylan. It's actually, it actually hit Rylan. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, this is just fun in games. Can you counter, bro? Just evade. There we go. And counter? No. We, all right, I guess we're, guess we're not countering. It just doesn't matter that. We're gonna kill everyone without really countering. I countered once, but I don't think it matters too much, so. I mean, it's a good artifact, you know what I mean? It's just RNG, and if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Anyways, we'll just murder this. Why do I feel like I might lose when I miss on the Rimu here? Just hit her, right? It's <laughs> Unpunished. I am so cringe. This will hit me, and uh, it's whatever. You already seen this tons of times. <gasps> I thought he was gonna like outspeed me there. Oh, gosh. Anyways, now time for me to stir up some red wine. <laughs> All right, I still cough a lot. I, I, it's really, it really sucks to cough, man. Like, I, I was supposed to like stream a lot of the times when my video goes live. So if you guys have been tuning into to Twitch and you find that, yeah, I don't really go on Twitch anymore. It's because I'm coughing and I really hate it. I imagine just having to hear me cough every 20 
seconds. It's too annoying, man. Right, there we go. That's the first win. Now, Rylet's Artifact, yeah, we, we, we see it proc, but it's just normal Rylet stuff, right? It didn't really matter there, so I hope we get a fight where it matters, matters. So maybe find maybe find a fight where you can solo stuff. I don't know. Here's round one. They got a barrier, so destruction and pain. And then we got a bomb girl here, so it's like a perfect, uh, I don't know, Iraq team. What? You know, we got some artillery, we got some jets, and we got some bombs. It's fucked up, but yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, why should die to, to artillery, and then a bomb should kill this woman, and then this girl should be bullied by three other women. Round two, here's two light units, so they should all focus fire on a Rylan, and make that three, because the dual attack from uh, this girl is gonna be annoying, right? So the idea is to outspeed the supreme leader with an even more supreme leader. Now, if I don't outspeed, it's still fire. As long as I cleanse Rylan off of his, like, debuffs and shit, I should still be okay. And yeah, we'll find out against a team where they should all focus fire on Rylet. So we'll see how much like solo potential that he has. But I, I think my build is not going to have that much though. Considering I have like no bulk. One shot from a Ravi S1 might just kill me. Fucking dude, let's try. We do still have the bigger buff. Well, well they, they have the bigger buff too. So. Alright, so here goes the attack and crit damage buff. We're going to shoot you down some artillery. Let's go. Yeet! Oh the fact that Hua Young, like on a Hua Young with barrier, that thing felt so like not painful. It's just ridiculous, man. Like, like usually I, I expect like 40k damage or, or something. But on like a Hua, it feels like it's, it's a teensy tiny bit of damage. I mean, it's enough to kill her like maybe three times over, but it still feels a bit weak. But anyways, as I say that the terrorist terrorizes the world with three bombs. A yeet. And there we go. 18k damage. Sheesh. All right, so there goes the bomb squad. And now we have a DN that outspent an ML Elias. <laughs> okay, I mean, even my own ML Elias. God damn DN. All right, so the trick here is I'm going to have to do S3. And I want to save my S2, and I'm not sure. I, I might have fucked up here. I'm, I'm not a, exactly sure. I'll do this because I'm a tome, but I might just cut the Lilius. I mean, the enemy Lilius. So unless if I can control the Lilius right here, then we can we can talk. But then again, your, the entire idea to have, is to have the enemy Lilius. Okay, resist it. That's actually good. So she'll take the turn here and then decrease my evasion by one so that I can push up with the end so that he, Ryland here, can take a turn, hopefully. That's the whole idea. I'm not sure if it makes sense. But anyways, let me just push back the belly and great. This will go. This will reduce my um, evasion uh, of one turn, which is annoying. It's like a Rylan killer, right? So you never do Rylan against ML Elias because of it. But in my case, I think I can do it. So this will, this will go to Barrier and the Cleanse as well. Now, this will hit my um, ML Elias, which is, isn't going to do much, I don't think. I've got a Barrier and everything. So yeah, it doesn't do too much. And here's where I kill a Bellion. I'm not like, exactly sure who to kill, but let's just hit Bellion. Because, you know, if we can hit the, hit the cow, you always hit the cow because she is a Bitch. You can yeet that like maybe 12k that 14k, not too bad. If I can dual time, I mean I've been playing Shockwave too much. I feel like every every turn of the corner I might just dual attack. So better we go. If I evade, we might see the, the artifact in Ami. You know? Okay, no artifact this time. Dual attack with Rylan. Nice. So this will hit the decrease um uh, hit chance, which is nice. This will miss me, and there we go. We hit the counter. Nice. We hit the counter twice, actually, so. Here's where- wait, I don't proc it? Well, I don't because I gained a fifth, um, focus on the turn where I counted, I guess. But I think I still die here, don't I? Uh, I mean, ML is gonna die, which is a shame. So, if Bellion moves, I get to proc S3. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just get the decrease hit chance on you, which- you're gonna cleanse up because of the dual attack. That's that's just perfect, is it? Now we're gonna lose a Melissa, which ooh, that counter though. Okay, yo. I mean, I don't think it matters. I think I just kill you here, right? Like, can you just not die so I can at least say it's because of the artifact? Oh, come on. Oh, that's a shame. Now, if I had Rod of Amaryllis, I would so survive this, but I don't. I really should switch to Rod, man. I mean, what do you guys have in your DNs? Should I just keep mine on Tomo or just go with freaking Rod? I feel like Rod is so much better, but sometimes I feel like I would rather have to. Maybe not. Maybe Tomo is just good. Yo, I serve survive that. What? Okay, now, how do I play this? I'm gonna actually just go for the dual attack because I know I'm gonna die anyway, so let's go with... Or do I get a barrier? Hmm. I'm gonna get the barrier, I think. So this will give me a pretty decently sized barrier. Oh, this will do best once, whatever. And yeah, I hope I kill you with Rylan here. So no more descending whatever crescent moon, whatever artifact that was. I can't really do that anymore because, um, a Ravi was likely never gonna hit Rylan here, so don't hit me and I'll... Ah. 
13. Wait, am I gonna lose the end here as well? Let's so hope not. God damn it. The fact that I've got a life to ride means Riley will have the maximum HP. And the end just got some random chip damage from Bellion. And that, that that's why she doesn't have max HP. This is gonna be made annoying, annoying, annoying. Alright, so I land some debuffs on you that you just don't cleanse off here. And I think you do. If this misses, I'm gonna end I quit as well. If you bypass all of it, I'm gonna be mad. So yeah, no bypass here, Ravi. Not today. Alright, so this would go and ah, oh, that hurts. Alright, so that would go. It's whatever. Can you just please miss me? <laughs> I, I, at least that's how crit work there. Don't crit. Oh, dude. Don't attack, please. I mean, we're going to win here. Yes, we do. Because we got a massacre up now. So, yeah, the shootouts we kill unless I don't crit. Which, thank God, is it like 3% chance? Does It's not 300%. So, yeah, we're going to kill a kid here. And there we go. We did see his artifact in action. I mean, it's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Here we go. Yeah, I wanna give him some time to shine. This is how I'm gonna do it. So I decided to go for a solo play with Ryder here, but I thought there's no way he's gonna pull this off. So as if with any like random anyway, if you run out of ideas, just throw in like a life here. So I give him an elf here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her, but <laughs> do what you want. Do what what you want with her. She has some stuff. But yeah. That's, that's about the entire idea I've got. So she's gonna die. And Rylan should have the whole spotlights himself, right? And but lucky enough, I might reset Rylan. You know, I don't know how she's gonna survive that long. But if she gets to reset Rylan, then we get 10 DS3 twice. So I don't know. I don't know. Like the entire trick here is to just believe. Round two. This will be just the hugest flex. Speed and print. Speed and print. And speed and print. I hope they have a button here that lets me check the imprints like they do with like arenas or RTA, but I don't. But anyways, it's 14 here and 10 on Shuri's on to a Sid, so that's like 24 on Sid, so quick math, quick math. Ah, oh, my math is too slow, man. It's 316. So 316 Sid, we're gonna kill the RB twice. If it's a DJ one, we insta lose, but there's no way you're gonna have a DJ one. Anyway, we push back whoever's that's fast, and we kill whoever's with Watcha Shuri, and we should win this. And here we go. This is so, so, so much of an end. In fact, I'm still in the guild. It's sort of like incredible. All right, so here goes Kari, and we're dealing with an attack buffed up. Um, freaking Vivian here with crit damage buff on her own, and with a 100% crit rate, right? Like, yep, 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 yep. Oh my god! No subject. I'll bet most people don't even know what happens when this happens. Like, when you have no allies, what do you, what does it say? It says no subject. <laughs> what? Well, that's Rylan for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he can pop up. If he miss every time, then they can't kill him, right? Like, imagine if I just evade encounter there. Then uh, I would have destroyed them, but that's what you get for doing violence and stuff, right? You, you just win some, and sometimes you just spectacularly lose some. But sometimes when you win some, you win some. But anyways, how is, how is the series still alive? Sheesh. All right, that was like the deadest mode. Oh, that's a degen, isn't it? That's a fucking degen, isn't it? <laughs> Why, Rain Sama? Why do you do this to me? Alright, now think. What the hell am I supposed to do? I'm gonna push by the Bellion because I have no reason. Like, if I ever hit on a Bellion, I literally just, the only reason is I hate her. Alright, so here we go. If it's a degen one, then uh, you might just... Oh, wait. Yo! Okay, Sid is just too strong. I got this as well. So the only way, only thing stopping me from winning right now is a miss crit. Yo, Oh, that's just fucking perfect. I have nothing to say. <laughs> I'm 85. I'm 85 crits, though. Dude, what zero havoc, man? How is this rain stuff, my guy? Just destroying me, dude. Man, if I meet you, I, I want to meet you, bro. Like, we can talk about this in DC. You have something against me or something, dude? Sheesh. You're gonna tell me that's the shit. Well, you're right. And secondly, it's not easy, man. It's really not. 86. And it's really hard to give him, like, enough crit without losing too much of everything else. And I need him to be faster, even. So, it's a really tough unit to build. Look at his eyes glistening with hope of wanting more wyvern gears from you i don't like you all right so that was riley with the new artifact so yeah i mean i'm gonna say with this artifact i might want to drop every stat and put them put more of them on bulk maybe like 1.4k defense and 12k health we might have to drop like speed by maybe 20 the idea is to just hope that he survives long enough that this pops off a lot so he heals back up a lot now with that vivian fight if i had the stat i mentioned with high bulk then maybe i could have like still survived maybe this will pop off every turn and then i'll kill like counter every time heal back up with s3s and stuff that might be the play so this might not be the best but i might try him out again with like a better bulkier build but anyways we did see this thing pop up a bit and yeah it's good to just have random counter attacks and i mean he hits hard even in s1 so pretty nice not too shabby that's probably the best artifact for him at the moment right now and yeah that is all today leave a like and join subscribe to my channel have yourselves a wonderful day and take care